big boys what is up guys hope you guys are doing good um first of all merry christmas for those of you that do celebrate if not hope you guys have a happy holidays either way but uh yes this video is going to be a little bit of a different one usually i drop like you know 15 20 minute investments videos this one might be pretty short we'll see how long it is after i edit it out and everything but we're gonna get straight to the point um the market right now it's kind of weird some stuff is super low in my opinion some stuff is uh not too low it's about just right but uh yeah market is definitely not in a super super high place so saying that we're gonna take a look at some no risk investments today all right um obviously i gotta repeat this because i feel like some people are misunderstanding what a no risk investment is all right so you guys know how people say high risk high reward right so obviously if you're taking a no risk investment um it's literally no risk right so sometimes they don't always go up as fast or even go up at all but most of the time uh it is a card that for example um a special card right that you can quick sell for 10k i'm telling you guys to buy it at around 10k maybe 11k or so um so you know that is why there's no risk because even if you wanted your coins back you guys can quick sell it right away but uh, yeah just had to say that just because a lot of people have been asking me recently like yo why haven't this card gone up yet and i'm just like because you know not all of them are to, going to go up but for example uh schultz this fire and ice card that i showed you guys a couple uh, weeks ago he flew literally went from 10k when we bought to like 22 23 maybe even 24k peak and then he did come back down again hopefully you guys sold if you bought but you know no risk investments don't always go up uh but you know that's why there are no risk all right so uh, let's get into it guys we do have some cards to look at but not as many as normal all right guys starting off we are once again looking at fodder so fodder literally has been at its lowest point all right um every rating basically it's at its lowest point since i want to say like the start of november or so 86s for example are literally 10k right now um uh, if you guys see these guys under 10k i yeah any guys like anyone here that you guys see on the screen all right under 10k go for it i would definitely definitely buy it i don't see them dropping any more um once again when will they go up you guys are probably wondering when are they going to go up if you are somebody that is not willing to hold cards if needed, all right, for EA to drop an SBC for them to go up, like, you know, these fodder cards, don't go for this, all right? I'm just going to tell you guys right now. Uh, if you want quick profit, come solid trade, flip icons, many other things you guys can do. But my guys out there that are willing to hold 86s under 10K, love it, man, honestly. Okay, uh, this guy right here, a Chempong. Uh, so I showed you guys, I believe, in like a video maybe like two, three days ago. I still like him. He's still currently 12k or so. 10k all consoles is what we are going for. For some reason, I just feel like EA, I just have a feeling they're going to drop like a Chinese Super League SBC or something in the near future. Um, so 10k, can't go wrong. Once again, guys, if you don't want them, all right, buy them for 10k. That's why we're not paying the 12k or 13k. We are paying 10k all consoles. Get a snipe, get a bid. Um, but yeah, that's why we're going to go for it and quick sell them if you don't want them. But if you do want him, put one in the club if we do get any cards any sbcs from the chinese super league or objective players or anything like that for sure he's going up i promise you all right so yeah even if it's just like a temporary spike 10k guys go for it man i'm not gonna lie guys i really never thought i would uh put schultz back in a no risk video since he flew to 24k right but he's back at 12k guys let's put him back in uh 10k once again all consoles he seems the lowest on ps right now so i'm gonna recommend him mainly on playstation but both consoles uh, if you guys can find it or all three consoles, 10, 11K, go for it, man. Um, what can I say, right? Look at that little spike right there, all right? When the leaks came out and that um, Collins guy was leaked, you know? German, Dortmund, next time there's a leaks card, I don't know, maybe a future, I don't know, what would EA do? Holland or even like Jude Bellingham, I don't know. You know, somebody from Dortmund will hype him up again, I promise you, all right? 10K, no risk. Okay, so yeah, this Graham card I also think has some decent potential. Four star skills, five star weak foot, decent stats. Once again, 10K, all right? Common theme for most cards. We're gonna buy a 10K. Why? Because this is a no risk investment video, guys, and you can quick sell them for 10K if you don't want them, all right? So 10K, once again, I'm just looking at the ones that I feel like have more potential than others. Obviously, there are many, many special cards that are 10K, but just the ones that I feel like have potential. Similarly, this one to the uh, a Champong just in case there's a championship objective you know uh anything and he's english so that's that helps a lot uh yeah he could just be good man one objective that requires a guy like him i'm thinking he doubles honestly but you know 10k all consoles can't go wrong 
Okay, Dumfries wants to watch. Uh, I really do like, honestly. He's really, really, really low right now, almost at this card. Uh, yeah, once again, 10, maybe 11k, I would go for it. Uh, if you guys check his graphs, literally, he just goes up and down, all right? 19k down to 16, boom, up to back up to 20k, do drop, and then flew to 23k, tank to 13k, flew back up to 17, tank back to 13, flew back up to 17. You know, so at 13k, What's a common theme? He's probably going to fly back up to 17 plus at some point, all right? Um, yeah, 10, 11K, guys. As long as you're willing to hold, this is definitely a moneymaker, in my opinion. All right, this one is completely, obviously, up to you guys. Um, but I do like Kudus anytime he's around 10K or so. Um, you guys, once again, check the graphs. He goes up, comes back down, goes up, comes back down. Probably every time he goes up, it's a Eredivisie card or SBC dropping or something like that, you know? Uh, so yeah has some potential decent stats um 10k go for it guys i mean you can get him with a hunter market price or a shadow if you want that can work as well but uh yeah definitely definitely no risk okay not gonna spend too much time on this uh Barquizen, same deal as that gram card earlier just in case there is a future objective or something that requires you know someone from the championship or something not bad but obviously if you had to choose one go for gram way better card um so but yeah one of them one of each maybe 10k in the club can't go wrong okay guys so the last thing i do recommend for this video like i said this one's gonna be a shorter one is informs all right it has been leaked again that we should be getting a party bag again on sunday or so uh, obviously the one last week required two informs uh you know so that's why they do have some value before 82s were like what 10k max right now they're at 12k uh, we're gonna snipe at 10k though 10 maybe 11k is still pretty no risk you're only risking like less than a thousand coins so i'm gonna say up to 11k for these 82 informs you guys can see on the screen uh good ones right there maybe even go to the next page even 81s i honestly think uh, are gonna be okay so 81s and 82s is what i would stick with uh 80s and below eh, you know up to you guys but i would go for the 81 and 82s you guys can see on the screen 12k a pop they are currently 11k max um yeah if the party bag is the same requirements definitely see them you know shooting to maybe like 14 15k a couple k profit per card um but even if they're not needed though if ea you know pull in ea and change the requirements if you buy 10 11k no risk at all all right guys i got a little secret for you all right these are the cards i usually make bank with i'm not even kidding you anyone that watches the stream regularly you already know 83 uh, sorry 81 to 83 rated non-rares all right more specifically i love raul albiol dude's back to 1k let's click on him real quick all right uh anytime this guy's like under 1k i always buy him uh i mean just look at the spikes guys literally like what yesterday he was just 1500 uh two days a couple days ago he was 2000 coins he's back down all consoles guys anytime he's under 1k i will pick them up all right uh it's just a matter of a couple days usually and he's needed an SBC, so he's great. But take a look at the 81s to 83s non-rares. Some of them are up, obviously, probably using SBCs and whatnot. The guys that are like five, 600 coins, 700 coins, Pereira, Calvin Phillips, take a look at those, man. They're using a lot of SBCs, all right? 82 rated, take a look right now. Bauman, 700, German goalkeeper, easily 2K plus, all right? Easily, easily. Suso, Spanish right wing, 500 coins or so, go for it. Locatelli is usually a really good one. Same with this German dude right here. Um, yeah, Rakitic, 1.3. I wouldn't really go for it. Obviously, he's out of packs. Uh, yeah, just take a look, guys. Galini under 1K. Italian in the Prem, 82 rated. Great, all right. Uh, but yes, even the 83s, these uh, two right here, obviously 800 coins go for it. Can't go wrong. Berardi is another one I love at 500 coins. He literally doubles, if not triples, uh, because of many SBCs, so... Just a little tip, guys. These are probably my favorite cards to trade with uh, in massive, massive amounts. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video, man. Once again, Merry Christmas to you guys, all right? A uh, bit of a shorter one. Uh, honestly, I know I didn't show many cards, but to narrow it down for those of you that made it to the NRA, I would personally just probably pick up some informs. Spend, spend like a couple you know, hours or so if you guys are just chilling. Um, snipe some informs, 81s, 82s, once again, 10, 11K. That is what I would go for over or the other cards, even though the, the other cards are good as well. This one might be the fastest way to make profit just because, like I said, party back coming Sunday. You know, maybe they go up on Sunday, whereas the other guys might take a little longer to rise. But all right, all right, I'm actually going to do the outro now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video, man. Drop a like. All right, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, guys. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm not sure if I'm going to have an upload tomorrow. We shall see. If not, I will see you guys in two days, all right? Have a good one, guys.